Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Morrowind. Yes, back. Uh, I'm gonna go back and change the title of that live stream we did, the last live stream I did, where we showed off Morrowind for about an hour. I have changed uh, the name of that live stream to, um, uh, you know, Let's Play Episode 1, so this is technically Episode 2. I didn't uh, title it Episode 1 at the time because I wasn't sure that I was gonna be doing this next, but I've decided that yes, I do, I do indeed want to do this next. So. If you did not see that, it's on the channel. It's uh, the live stream was uploaded after it was finished, and so it is there for you to go and see. But basically, to summarize, we just created a character, and um, well, I kind of got myself stuck in a bad situation. I uh, unwisely decided to make the journey to uh, the the first town that I needed to go to on foot, um, when I could have just fast traveled there using a silt strider. And now I am lost in some random town called Caldera on very, very low health, and uh, I have no idea how to get that back. So, um, yeah, I've got to look for, why are you, why are you naked? Oh yeah, you're following me around because I was said I was going to help you with something. Um, I need, I need somewhere to get health back. I don't know how to do that. I need like a potion or something. But I have no idea where there's like an alchemist or something like that. So, um, I have never played Morrowind before, so this is going to be a blind playthrough for me. So hopefully we don't get into too much trouble. An armorer, okay. Anybody know where a guy can get a health potion? Um, hmm. Hmm, this is a, a traitor. Um, do you have, hmm, I wonder if you would have health potions. Maybe. We'll check on that in a second. Yeah, let's go in there now and see if he has health potions for us. Maybe, but maybe not. We will have to see. So, is it you? Hello. Uh, barter. Okay. Misk. Um, info. Okay, I see some things that look like potions over here. Bottle, 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 bottle. Lots of bottles. Empty vial, flash jug. Uh, plain tankard. Um, bottles of all sorts here. Jug, goblet. Um, hmm. Magic. Do you have a uh, quality restore health? Okay. I could afford that. Do you have, like, let me see here, opening, wounds, helm, ring of aversion? No, I guess we'll just go ahead and buy this quality restore health here. Okay, can I get you down to, like, 88? I can! Cool! Uh, okay, so now that we've done that, let me go to my inventory and happily go ahead and use this how much is it hey full health again cool it only cost me 88 freaking gold but you know what worth it, it means I'm not gonna die so okay um now that we have full health what kind of armor am I wearing still oh yeah I have this stuff okay uh, what did you want me to do cloud cleaver festering witch onward from must find the switch before she moves again I feel cloud cleaver calling out to me to rescue it from the clutches of evil your axe, huh? Then now I fear what that witch's touch will do to it. Me, my own father Balmir used it himself to slay the terror of Rothgar's quagmire. He did. Now granted, the terror returned it, a terror turned out to be a newborn nix hound eating the neighbor's marshmallow. But my father found him and slew him nevertheless in a grand fashion, as I have ever borne witness to. I cannot wait to have the blade back in my hands again. Then I'll use it to take that witch's head clean off. I will. Maybe not the best accent you've ever heard, but, you know. It's, it's pretty clear, judging by the text at least, it's probably Irish-ish, sort of. Uh, so you're a fighter for hire, huh? Okay, well, where is... Where where is she? Where, where is this witch lady? Uh, journal. Okay, here we go. Um, so just by which you cast spell him while he was asleep, took everything he had, including his pride. Uh... Take him to the to find the witch and help retrieve his axe in exchange for a reward. 
he thinks he met her in a camp to the northwest, but admits he could be confused as to the direction from the spell. Northwest, you say, so that's like that way. Well, we'll abandon our quest to find Balmora for now, and we'll go try to help this guy as best we can, so... Do I have my arrows equipped still? Good, I do. I only have 12 of them, so I need to be careful, but... We'll try to help this guy so that we don't have a naked man following us all the way to Balmora. Because that would be hard to explain. So, we'll go this way in basically a straight line and just keep our eyes peeled for anything of interest that might come up. But, um... Yeah. I don't know what to expect from this game. Um... Everyone says it's like the best Elder Scrolls game, so I don't know. I'm hoping it's uh, as good as people say it is. So we shall find out. Chokeweed. Nope, man. Just looking for anything valuable, any valuable plants or anything. Keep my eyes peeled for any witch or camp or campfire or something. I'm gonna turn up my game a little bit too, just in case. I need to be able to listen. See, I hear something over here. Oh, it's one of those stupid things again. I hate those guys. Yeah, I hate them. Okay, um, whoa. What is this? This looks pretty crazy. Bitter green plant. Nothing. What about out in the vines? Oh, that's that's a decent value to weight ratio. Yeah, I'll take that. That's what, a 50 value to weight ratio? I'll happily take that. Yeah. Gimme, gimme. Crush weed. Crush weed. Eh, that's a 10 value to weight ratio, but I mean, only because the weight is 0.1 and the value is 1. So, yeah, no thanks. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Heading northwest. Hoping for the best. Eh, 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 there we go. It's stuck on plants and stuff. Oh, hey, this is kind of where I saw that cliff racer. Oh, boy. I see somebody. Hopefully this is not the witch in question. Uh-oh. They might have seen me. I'm trying to let my uh, stamina come back a little bit. That's all. I'm just waiting for my stamina to come back so I don't have to worry about running out of stamina midway through this fight. That'd be really bad. There she is. Let's use this fancy third-person camera trick to, uh... I'm not gonna just run up and attack her. But in the event that that is the witch, and in the event she wants a fight, which I would assume that she would if she was a witch, uh, I want to be ready. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Hello, lady. So what do you want? Hello, I see you already met my good friend Frolmar? Fro my name is... Socia, uh, the healer, how can I be of assistance to two of you? A funny story that one is. The true story, newbie, is that I took Kralmar on as a traveling companion for protection only for the road to Caldera. Along the way, he was getting entirely too friendly for his own good to the point where I actually had to cast a sleep spell on him. Just to teach him a lesson in manners, I stripped him and left him by the road. And to be sure he didn't come back after me for retribution, I took that cloud cleaver he's always fawning over as well. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't think he's ready to get it back quite yet. I can still see the rage burning in those tiny Nord eyes of his. Hey, I'm a Nord. However, if he meets me in three days at the Mage's Guild Hall in Caldera, I will return everything I have of his, but not a minute sooner. Tell him that is a Sozia's, Sozia's offer. Can do. Where, where did where did he go? Uh, buddy? I wonder if he got stuck on the same plant that I did back here. So it wasn't a witch, it was... So he's kind of spun that... Yeah, he did! <laughs> hey, buddy, hey, hey. I met your friend over there. Oh, I want to talk to my buddy. Oh, hold on. It, it, come here. Seems a bit chilly today, doesn't it? Uh, so see his offer. Well, I'll not be willing... I'll, I'll not be waiting another three days to have me bloody axe when it is in the hands of that damned witch. Are you going to help me, friend, or are you believing the lies spilling out of that witch's face? I gotta believe her! I'm not gonna lie. I, be I believe her. He will die alongside her. Oh yeah. You got your you got your fist, buddy. Can I get my axe, please? Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Ah. 
Oh, the collision is not great. Eh. Boy, the collision. Is it just me, or is this, like, really hard to hit the guy? Eh. Eh. Ow. Hey. Oh, I got knocked down because I'm out of freaking stamina. Stop. Oh, I hate when he knocks me down like that, because now he can actually do damage to me. Get, get up, get up, get up. No, no, no. Oh, stop that. Well, this sucks. Come on, get up. Turn around, get a couple sm- uh, How am I supposed to do this if I don't have stamina? What in the world? This is nonsense. What kind of game mechanic is this? I can't even hit him back because... Uh, the collision is so bad. I can't even get into first person! Oh, Just get... Thank you. No. Oh. This is so annoying. This is incredibly annoying. I, I can't... This is unbelievable. Really, dude? Really? Do I need to just let you freaking hit- Nope! I can't let even let him hit me, because then he takes away the last bit of my fatigue, and then I can't... I can't hit him. I physically cannot hit him. This is ridiculous. Die! 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 I can't hit him. I can't even smack him with my axe. Die. Oh. Really annoying, because I can't do anything about it. Uh... Either I'm gonna die and end up loading the save again, or I'm gonna go spend another 88 freaking gold on another potion, because I'm on next to zero health. <sighs> yep, there it goes, and uh, like three more hits and I'm dead. Oh, nope, there we go, yep. Yes, I'd like to load that save. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. Are you kidding me? Is that how most of the combat's gonna go in this game? Seriously? Oh my god. That was ridiculous. Wow. Seriously? Ugh, oh, I gotta go buy the damn potion again. This is stupid. Can I just tell him to screw off and I don't want to help him anymore? You're a different person. This is not the right building. Get out of my way. I hate you. What? Is that? What? Why is that? Ugh. What is Shank's shovel? I don't care what that is. I want to go in here, spend my freaking money on a stupid potion, barter, magic, this potion, and let me try to get him down to like this much. This much? Yeah, there we go. So I got it for one less this time. Uh, be quiet, everybody. Just, 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 just shut up. Uh. I just tell you to screw off and leave me alone. Uh, I wish I could just intimidate. No. Uh... Well, I guess I'm gonna just stand around and wait for my fatigue to come back once I, uh, once I, you know, I'm actually getting ready to fight him this time because apparently when you don't have fatigue you just get knocked on your ass and you can't do anything and then as soon as you get up he takes out your fatigue and knocks you on your ass so you can't do anything and then as soon as you get up he knocks you on your ass and takes out your fatigue so you can't do anything and as soon as you get up yeah yeah that's uh that's how combat works in Morrowind apparently because you know that's cool also a freaking axe against an unarmored guy is doing jack all for damage apparently Wow. Stupid rat. I just don't want to fight anything right now, so we're just going to ignore him. I'm going to need every... Evidently, I'm going to need every single hit point I got against this random naked dude that can take an axe to the face and be fine. Also, I'm going to go fight him over closer to Zo uh, Zosia, Zosia this time. And maybe she'll help me. Get over here, you asshole. I know what you're planning. Come yeah, on. Hurry up. I am 
we are both, hopefully, both of us are going to kill you. Hopefully she actually helps me. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. I believe Sosia. Maybe I should have saved sooner. What? 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 Oh, I don't have any... Oh! Oh my god, I forgot to do that. Ah! So, Sia, can you help me, please? This is ridiculous. Don't whistle while I'm getting my butt kicked over here. Oh, please. Just stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Why can't I stand up? I'm not even... Just get up. Ah! Oh! All right. All right. Um, this is absolutely ridiculous. I, I cannot believe that this is how combat works in Morrowind. Like, seriously? I... I don't know how much I want to play this anymore, to be honest. Holy crap. Is that the entire game that I have to look forward to? Is that what I have to look forward to for the rest of this game? Seriously? That. Really. Really now. <sighs> Barter. Magic. This thing. Take him down to 87. Get out of my freaking way. <sighs> Use the potion. Alright. What I'm gonna do this time is have all of my fatigue back before I even talk to her. Because evidently she's not gonna help me. And evidently having armor... And an axe against an arm, an unarmored dude doesn't make a damn bit of difference. And again, the collision is so bad I can't hit him, but because he's an AI, he can hit me every single time. <sighs> I, I cannot believe that is the combat system of, of this game. That is ridiculous. Either I'm missing something because I'm a complete noob, which I totally and fully admit is possible. Or that's just how the game works, and it's absolutely ridiculous. Where are you? Oh, just, I don't want to freaking have to come and find you out in the middle of nowhere again. Alright, so I'm back, and guess what? I found out the issue with the combat system. Apparently there's a hit chance. So even if I'm standing in front of him, smacking him over the head with my axe, there's a chance, there's a pretty good chance at this low level, that it's just not going to register. No, I'm totally hitting him, but it's going to be like, mm, no you're not. No, you don't, that doesn't count. That doesn't count, doesn't count, doesn't count, doesn't count. Oh, look, you got that 1% chance that you're actually going to hit him. So that's what's up with the combat system. Wow. Wow. Man, it's like rolling a dice every time I swing this stupid axe. Anyways, I have all my freaking, uh, I have all of my stamina back, my fatigue back, so let's talk about this guy. Let's talk about Cloud Cleaver. There we go. All right, I'm going to save right here. We're going to save over that save. Yep, there we go. All right. Here we go. So, I've learned a couple things. I did a little bit of research, so let's try this. Now, I believe so. See ya. You should have picked an easier opponent. Come on. There we go. Uh, this hit chance thing is still very annoying. What the? Why did my ex disappear? Oh, I got him. Whoo, just barely ran out of stamina, too. Oh, I hate that hit chance system. I've always hated games that do that. It's like you're doing everything in your power to do everything right and we're just not going to give it to you. It's like rolling a dice every time you swing. Thanks. Alright, well. I'm sorry to hear he is dead, but he was, a, he was a fool. Such is the way fools meet their end. And I will take Cloud Cleaver to one who can handle its power. Can I have it? Um... His obsession with that axe led to his death. I'll leave it with someone who can use it well. I thank you for your help, stranger. I th think that Hothead would have killed me had uh, you not intervened. Here, take these potions as my gift to you and seek me out if you ever require my super services in the future. Exclusive restore health, quality restore fatigue, and qual quality fortify health has been added. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, my goodness.
All right, so the combat system, I while I disagree with it and I think it is ridiculous, it's not broken so much it is as it is. There's just it's just a really I'm just going to say it, it's a bad mechanic. I I I think it's a, t- a terrible mechanic to just roll a dice every time you want to hit something. That is insanity to me. But um all right, I will I that's why, you know, while I was waiting for my fatigue to come back, I went ahead and did that little bit of research so that I could actually figure out what in the heck was going on. So, oh my goodness. All right. I still want to get to Balmora because that's where my main quest is taking me. But, um, yeah, so let me, where's the big map? Nope, world map. There we go. I don't know where Balmora is. I'm going to look that up, so I have an actual... I'm just going to look up where it is on the map, so I actually have an idea of where I'm going. And I and no, I have no shame in using the inner win, the internet to find some things here. Um, because I, I... This game is not very forgiving. Like, at all. Um, so where is Balmora? It is significantly... Farther south? No, wait, where is it? Hold on here. Hold on. What are, what are these places here? Fla Ode, Odai Plateau. Plat- plateau. Plateau. Derp. Um, how about where is it on the world map, huh? Is it... So it's uh, kind of uh, here-ish? That can't be right. I was there. Is it over here? I don't know. Can I, I can't fast travel in this game either. Uh, well, we'll just keep following these signs, I guess. In any case, it's farther south of where I am. I think it's a little bit southeast of where I am right now. So, hopefully, I can... Oh, loading area. Wow, big loading area. Okay. Uh, oh, boy. I don't know. Oh, there's a fork in the road. Okay. Balmora, this way. All right. Just gonna keep following the road signs here and, and hope that I can get to Balmora at some point or another. This has been an absolutely insane episode. Is that a person standing up there? That is a person standing up there. Please don't be a bandit. I'm out of stamina right now, which means my hit chance is gonna be awful. Uh, you don't look good. You don't look like good news. Hi. Hey, you're not one of them town bosses, right? How about you help me, huh? I'll give you a present. What do you need help with? I'm sure you do. Uh, good friend. Look, those guys in Calzera think I did something bad. They're looking for me. I'm too smart for them. I can hide real good. My friend can help me. Maybe even bring her now for me. Uh, no. You go now. Good. At least he's not going to try and kill me. Okay. Let's continue along our journey here. I just want to get to Balmora without any more trouble. Which way to Balmora? That way. Alright. We're going this way now. Loading area again. There we go. Holy crap! This this combat system, man. Um, where's my? Do I have like stats of myself? Can I see my stats and and whatnot? Stats. Here we go. Um, hmm. Axe is all the way up at forty-seven, so that means I should have like, I think according to the the thing I was looking at, that means I should have. Let's see. So. According to this thing, I'll, I'll try to remember to link this in the, in the description. Um, most important to your skill uh, is your skill with the weapon you use. Numer- numerical value of your weapon skill is your chance to hit. So if I have 47 axe skill, I should have a 47% chance to hit something with my axe. And then there are other things that can factor into that and add to it. But um, one of them is, uh, you know, having very low fatigue or like being out of fatigue you have a garbage chance to hit, so it'll be even less than, um, it'll be even less than whatever, you know, the value is after you've done all the other calculations. And there's a lot to it. I mean, there's, like, how many points you have into agility, how many points you have into luck, how many, or how much stamina you have. It's crazy. Full stamina increases your chances by one-fourth. Empty decreases it as much. So it's it gets insane as far as uh your ability to hit things. Oh my god, really? 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 Okay, I gotta lure them back into the town and hopefully they'll help me. What are those things? They are huge. Go, guards, go! Charge. 
I can't really help because I have no fatigue right now. Well, they freaking murdered them. What are these things? Giant frog mutants? Allet? Allets? I don't know. Jesus. Okay, well, um, I wanted to come back and get the road sign anyways. Yeah, Balmora this way. Alright, still on the road to Balmora. But, uh, man, oh man, oh man. This, this, uh, just, just open Hoppage Capture. Thank you, God. Laptop. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, this, this combat system is going to take some getting used to. I still think it's insane, but, you know, we're kind of stuck with it. <sighs> Belmora? Yeah, Belmora. Still this way. Does it ever get brighter outside? Like, is it just because it's nighttime right now, or... Like, it looks like it's getting brighter out in front of me, but I don't know if that's just, like, the game being foggy or whatever, trying to render, or if it's legitimately going to be, you know, daytime at some point. So that maybe I can see what I'm doing. Holy crap, I took everything in Skyrim for granted. <laughs> I took every game mechanic of Skyrim completely for granted. This is... this is hardcore. What is that thing? I don't know. Balmora is this way. Stay away. Stay away. Balmora, Balmora, Balmora. Please tell me we are close. This looks promising. This bridge here. I like I like the looks of this. What does this say? Does this say anything? Balmora! We made it! We've made it to Balmora! Sort of. We're on the outskirts of the town, at least. Oh, there's the wall. Oh, thank God. Okay. Alright, we have made it to Balmora. So, how did I end up going all the way up here? How did that happen? I was following signs to Balmora, and somehow I ended up over here. When I probably could have just gone up. So, I guess I took a wrong turn somewhere, but... Man, oh man, oh man. That was insanity. Uh, anything in these bitter green plants here? I should have grabbed these. Um, whoops. Uh, when I did the thing with the... The... Uh, wizard lady. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Da, da 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 Okay, here we go. Seems the young one is not as trusted as I thought she was, or at least not for the reasons I thought she was. She seems... Um... Hmm. Let's see... What... Imperial's ring. Found a corpse. Uh, okay, so... Talking to Caius Cossades in the South Wall Corner Club. South Wall Corner Club, which I think... Well, let's see, that's north. So that's south. Which means we should probably start on the south side of town. <laughs> Would make the most logical sense. These buildings look kind of Dwemer in origin. I wonder if that's actually the case or not really. Uh, okay, this is the south wall. So we're looking for the South Wall Corner Club. Um, is this it? Oh yeah, South Wall Corner Club. Perfect. Found it. Okay, let's see here. Set. Saddle? Satilled? Satilled? What do you mean? You don't know me. We're a House of Hlalu town. Or I, we're a House Hlalu town and loyal citizens of the Empire. What can I do for you? Do you know this man? Uh, ask the owner, he'll know. Okay, where's the owner? No. Uh, no. No, not from you, I don't. Are you the owner? No. Are you the owner? No. Are you the, no. Are you the, no. Hold on, wait. You might be the owner. Hold on. Ah. Uh, um. Bacola Clotius. Bacola Clotius. Bacola Clotius. Bacola. Only he, only he stands there. Right, I'm gonna get away from you, buddy. Um, no. No. Where are you? There you are, hello. Do you know this man? Uh, okay, yes, he does know this man. Not the upper door to the terrace thing right up the stairs. Okay. 
Oh my goodness. This combat system is gonna be insane. I can't I can't stop thinking about it, man. It's crazy. It's crazy how complicated that is. Wait, no, he's over here. Oh boy. I might do Skyrim after this just to refresh myself. <laughs> I mean a let's play of Skyrim. I wanted to. There's, I mean, there's a lot of games I want to do Let's Plays of, but... Hello! Um... Report to Kaius Cossades. Your name is Newbie, and perhaps you'll let me look at it? Uh, yeah. Very, yeah, very interesting. So it says here, the Empire wants me to make you a novice in the Blades. Oh, the Blades. And that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to follow my orders? Yes. Um, now you belong to the Blades or the Empire's Eyes and Ears in the provinces. You can use my bed if you need to rest, but leave my personal stuff alone unless I say otherwise. If you like, you can improve your modest skills with our Blades trainers now, or if you're in a hurry, I can give you orders right away. But don't forget to visit the Blades trainers. Okay, who are the Blades trainers? These Blades agents offer training. Not free, of course, but cheap for a fellow agent. Look for Rithleen, Tyre Mylan, and Nine Toes. Nine Toes. Um... Nine Toes is, a, is like the first boss in Borderlands. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. Here in Belmora and Caldera, see Saran Leoran. Leorian? In Aldrun, see Gildan. Uh, Siorvar Horsebell lives in a hut east of. East of west. West, God. Jeez. Of Aldrun and alone, the scout can be found at Ariel's trade house in Sedanine. Oh, we were there. Okay. Um. Cool. The Blades. Who are the Blades? We're spies. We're the Empire's hidden eyes and ears in the provinces. We watch the Emperor's enemies. We look for opportunities. We make reports. And when the Emperor commands, we obey. But we're only one of many guilds and factions of Morrowind. You should know a little about Morrowind politics before you get involved with any of these other groups. Okay. How about, uh... Um... Alright, what are, what are the orders here? You're new. Uh... And you look it. Here's 200 drakes. Go get yourself a decent weapon or armor or a spell. And second thing, you need a cover identity. Around here, freelance adventurer is a common profession. Sign on with the Fighters Guild or Mages Guild or Imperial Cult or Imperial Legion. Advance in the ranks and gain skill and experience. Or go out on your own, look for freelance work or trouble. Then, when you're ready, come back and I'll have orders for you. Okay, cool. Uh, ready for orders? Good. Go talk to... I guess this is going to be because I did that first... Um, thing already. I did that first freelance bit of work, I guess. Go talk to Hasfat and Antabalus at the Balmora Fighters Guild. Ask him what he knows about Nerevarin, the Nerevarin secret cult and the Sixth House secret cult. You'll have to do him a favor first, probably an ugly favor, but do it. Then get the information from Antabalus and report back to me. Okay. How about, uh, can you tell me, whoops. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. All right, there we go. By the way, Hesfet is a student of Morrowind history. Take the chance to get a little education and have a few history books in here. Help yourself. You're welcome to them. No point in being part of history if you're too ignorant to understand it. Okay, cool. How about this Imperial Legion? They sound cool. As several fort garrisons here on Vardenfeld, the lower ranks handle law enforcement, escorts, rescues, dangerous predators, disease, blighted beasts, and so forth. Only one fort accepts recruits, Fort Darius and Nysus. Nysus is a frontier outpost isolated, a little rough, but good experience. If you're interested, see General Darius and Nysus. Okay. What about the Fighters Guild? The Fighters Guild. Professional organization characterized by the Emperor, or uh, chartered by the Emperor, to regulate the hiring and training of mercenaries. Training goods and services are cheaper for members, and the Guild stewards know where to find work. You'll have to start your service with... Ida's Fire Eye, the Belmora Guild Steward. She's new, and I don't know her well. Perseus Mercius. Perseus Mercius? The old rune Guild Steward. I know and trust, but he only handles higher ranking assignments. Okay. Well, I would either like to go for the Fighters Guild or for the um, Imperial Legion. They seem like the two places that would actually give me like fighting experience, you know, and, and maybe allow me to raise my axe skill or, you know, things like that. So... I would like to sign up with them, but uh, I think we are about out of time for this episode, so that will do it for episode two of Let's Play Morrowind. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you all in the next one. We'll get through this one way or another with the janky combat system and all that stuff. We'll, we'll get through it. I promise you that, so we're going to keep trucking along, 
And uh, with that, I hope to see you all in the next video.